Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Sagittarius? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Sagittarius. <clears throat> oh, Sagittarius, let's give you all a full moon reading. We got this full moon coming up the 13th of July in Capricorn. So, what's going on in your all's energy? Uh, the Hierophant and the Page of Cups. Y'all, this full moon is interesting because it's going to be a super moon. So the closest it's going to be to the Earth. So uh, Sagittarius, it's 221,994 miles away from the Earth. So 2-2-1994 could mean something. <sighs> I'm liking this Page of Cups. The Hierophant, the Four of Cups. Some of you could definitely be meeting someone new. Keep your options open. Healing energy. This is like spa energy. Loving yourself. Being kind and gentle to yourself. Staying in very uh, loving, gentle, sort of um, nurturing environments. Yeah, look at that. You, you're going to be given an opportunity. So you need to make sure you're in the right mindset. So I want to make sure that you're focusing, okay? Uh, with this being the Capricorn moon, uh, shadow work. Focus on the shadow work. Release any negativity you, you still might be pushing through, working through. That would be a good time. Yeah, the moon energy. Now would be a good time to do that release. Six of cups. Three of cups. Two of swords. Yeah, you need to focus on doing some healing. Some of you, childhood healing, family healing. There's some healing that needs to take place. For some of you, this is just healing yourself, forgiving yourself, allowing that forgiveness to happen. Um, oh, uh, 323 could mean something. Uh, 6323. Um I'm thinking of a song, uh, go on, get happy, but that's not it. There's the, uh, it's like an old fashioned song. What the fuck is it? Oh, maybe it'll come to me again. Five of cups. Judgment. Yeah, you're going to have something come back that has kept you stuck and you're going to kind of have to deal with it. It feels more emotionally more than it does a person um Sagittarius so you know any any fears anything you need to let go of it, it's like shadow work I really feel it's more shadow work um some of you give the forgiveness that you need to some of you grieve how about grieving it all one at a time right perhaps there's different areas of your life different things in your life that you need to grieve singularly instead of just trying to group it all together you know what i mean if it's dealing with the family maybe focusing in on on one or two exact uh moments or circumstances or or um memories that have kept you held up so do be mindful that could be coming up under this moon but it's to your benefit to do the shadow work right it's always to your benefit to do the shadow work to release what you need to release um, cause it, it, it brings the breakthroughs, you know, the things that you carry with you, that sort of that, that, that darkness, that sadness, that inner fear or regret or whatever the fuck it is, right? The more you carry that with you, it just follows you and it manifests in different ways. So some of you could be having that sort of bubble up to the top. I don't think it's going to be bad. It, it, you're going to... Maybe you're going to, something's going to trigger a memory and you're going to go down memory lane and you could be, get a little bummed out. But if you do, just know that that's an area you need to eventually try to go back and focus on to do the healing. Because it's to your betterment. It's to your betterment. 
And honestly, I think that's something that everyone uh, is probably going to be going through. Uh, with it being in Capricorn, it's going to be the shadow work, right? That moon's going to be shining bright, so there aren't going to be a whole hell of a lot of shadows. You know what I mean? 2-2-1994. Two, two, uh, I think it's 357,264 kilometers. Don't quote me on that, but uh, it, it, the, the closeness to the Earth. But doing the shadow work is going to be very beneficial to you. Like I said, I don't feel like it's going to be like a major cry fest. I think something could just kind of pop up to send you down memory lane. And you're just going to know that that's, that's something you're going to have to release. It's something you're going to have to release from. And it does feel family related. The Six of Cups is Three of Cups. That Two of Swords and that Three of Swords. This is something you've been uh, denying yourself the release from. So you've held on to this for a hell of a long time. Okay? Uh, and it's it's about time you addressed it. But it feels like address the, the single issue. Don't try to just lump it all into one. What is this Two of Swords energy for Sagittarius on this Capricorn full moon. Some of you could be a bit more emotional. Some of you, it could just pop up the memory and you're like, oh, fuck, right? You're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to do the work. Definitely family related. Maybe for some of you, this could be in your love life. Um, but you know, your love life is directly affected by the life that you had growing up, right? Uh, everyone chooses partners that resemble their family. Um, so that could be a major factor to a lot of your things. Do the shadow work though. It's going to be to your benefit. You're not going to regret doing the shadow work. Or at least know where you need to focus. You're not going to do this overnight, obviously. But at least it's going to give you an area in which you can focus more. Or some of you realize, fuck, that's why I keep choosing the same shitty partners. Fuck, that's why nothing is working. It all stems from that one situation many, 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 many moons ago that you haven't resolved yet. So this is breakthrough energy. This is breakthrough energy. So go with it. Y'all know if you're watching a reading and you get triggered, then that means there's some work you need to do, right? There's some work you need to do. With this being a Capricorn, you're probably going to see a lot of people filling that shit. Five of Swords, King of Wands, Nine of Swords. Yeah, some of y'all could be dealing with the fire sign energy that's in their head. That Five of Swords energy. Family, lover, however, take it how it resonates in your situation. But if this person wants to come back in, because we do have that Six of Cups, some of y'all going to maybe have that fucking realization, right? If they want to come in, some of you that are, are wanting that reconciliation, and maybe you get that opportunity, and then you're going to be like, well, motherfuck, now I know why it don't work. Get the fuck out of here. Some of you really look back at your, your, your family life, your family situation, and that could be, you know, who you choose as partners, and you just, you couldn't see through the bullshit. You couldn't understand why, for some of you, it's breaking that sort of habit, right? If you go to the same type of person all the fucking time and wonder why it don't work, right? It's the same energy signature, just a different face, different body. But it's the same energy signature. And some of y'all, it's a narcissistic fire sign energy. You like the passion. You like, you, you kind of enjoy the narcissism. Because you're used to it. That's what you know. Some of you, that's what you grew up with. So you can navigate in that narcissistic energy pretty well, but it's not to your benefit. Maybe some of y'all are going to tell someone to kiss your ass. Or some of you are going to take this person back on and you're going to see, fuck. It's the same old narcissistic energy signature. It's the energy signature. I don't care, they could all look completely different from one another, but the energy signature is all the same. They're very fiery and passionate, but they're narcissistic as fuck. 
For some of you, this is going to be a person wanting to come back into your life because they're going to fill that, that pool from that moon. And you're going to have to just realize, huh? -uh. This, this moon card and this Wheel of Fortune really feels like a breakthrough energy. So whatever you're going through, just, just go with the flow and get the breakthrough that you need. Because it's something to a swords that your happy ass has been ignoring. You've been ignoring this. Three of cups with the three of swords. 33 could mean something. 323 three could mean something. So you keep kicking that can down the fucking road because you don't want to deal with it or you don't want to see it. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to show up. And hopefully for a lot of you, you realize and you're able to sort of break that break that habit, break that chain, break that connection. It definitely feels like a breakthrough energy. Yeah, because uh, if this ain't your energy, whoever the hell you're dealing with is definitely going through it. This King of Wands energy, Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Judgment, and the Eight of Swords. Eight of swords going to the nine of swords. Whoever the hell you're dealing with, if, you, if this ain't your energy, you ain't feeling this, someone that you're dealing with is definitely feeling it. But be very mindful because they could want to come in and apologize but not know what the fuck for. Okay? It's going to be a breakthrough moment if you allow it. Now, if it's not a lover, this could be friends, this could be family. Uh, I'm feeling more friends, family than work related because I don't see no pentacles here. This is this is emotional. This is an emotional connection that you've just been refusing to fucking deal with or see, but now you're you're going to you're going to be able to see and, and do the shadow work that you need to do. Now, Sagittarius, if this isn't your energy, this could be someone that you're dealing with. They could be going through this, right? The the energies can be interchangeable. But it's like someone's sorry, but they don't know why. Because they're a fucking narcissist. <laughs> Someone is definitely trapped in a very... This ain't a very good energy. Five of Cups of Judgment, Eight of Swords with the Nine of Swords. You'll know if you're in that fucking energy. Plus, we got the Three of Swords right there. I know a lot of you aren't, because I'm not feeling that. A lot of you are getting that breakthrough energy. Maybe to, to move away from this energy, because you realize... Someone only comes running when they start hurting, when they're feeling some sort of pain. But they don't come running to you or, or are helpful to you when you're in that energy. Right? And Sagittarius, that's a beautiful, it's a beautiful energy. But it, it's breakthrough time. So do the work that you need to do. Do the healing that you need to do. Obviously, it's not going to happen over the course of this full moon. But remember, if something triggers you, something makes you remember something, heal it one at a time. Don't try to just lump all, all your childhood together. There was defining moments that created who the hell you were. Uh, some of you, that could be brought to your attention. You know, everyone wants to look at it as a collective whole, but there were determining moments conversations, events that determined who the fuck you were, that changed you in a way to create who you are. So if that, if that shows up, you have that memory, you have that recollection, then that gives you something to work off of in order to move forward, Sagittarius. It, it's, it's a beautiful energy. It's doing the shadow works. For some of you, it's accelerating that shadow work if you've been working on that. You're going to be, it's like a beautiful opportunity. For some of you, it's going to bring someone back in and you're going to realize why it doesn't work. Because this person is just a narcissist. They're sorry, but they don't know why. Hmm. What's the bottom of the deck? Bottom of the deck is a page of pentacles, the fool card, and the six of swords. Three of wands. Some of y'all could be around the water. I think you're going to dismiss an offer. Uh, if someone tries to, you know, um, this is even giving me like messaging. Someone tries to send you a, a little gift or a token or some shit like that. Someone, whoever the hell this, this narcissistic energy is, is probably going to try to bribe their way back into you. Or back into your situation one way, shape, or form. Because this feels like a gift, but this also feels like communication as well. But you know what? Go out there and enjoy your life. Some of y'all, get on a boat. Get out there by the water. Okay? You got beautiful energy around you. 
So some of you are just going to, if anything, the shadow work, any, any shadow work you need to do. Because it feels very specific. Whatever the hell you get into, it was a defining moment that changed and created who you were. And some of you are going to realize that's why you keep choosing the same fucking partners. And, you know, they could look completely different in every aspect. But the energy signature is the same. They're a fucking narcissist. I don't feel you in that that heartbreak sort of energy. It, this is someone that you're dealing with, Sagittarius. This King of Wands energy just gives me very they're a very passionate person, but they're a narcissist, right? They're a fucking narcissist. They're going through something, but it's that shadow work, right? If this person isn't doing their shadow work, then they're gonna feel that fucking shadow work come up, and a lot of you you're gonna feel it, but in a different way. It feels like singularly. You're going to be reminded of an event. And it was like a defining moment. Because, you know, it's not all your childhood that created you. It's it's defining moments along the path. Different things that happen. That created that mindset. That, that made you become who you were. They're defining moments. You just can't group them all together. So be mindful of that. Some of you, it's a beautiful breakthrough energy. But for someone else, it's going to be sheer hell. It is. Pray for them, but go out there and have fun. Some of y'all get by the water. Get on a fucking boat if you can. Take a canoe trip or something. Just get out there and enjoy life. Because it's like breakthrough energy. That Will of Fortune and that Moon card is like breakthrough energy. You're going to get that epiphany. Especially if you've been feeling stuck. Especially if you've been feeling stuck. Because it, it really feels like you're if you're doing some shadow work, you're, you haven't quite figured out exactly what determining moments was. Or maybe something was so fucking harsh that you just didn't want to deal with it. So that could rear its head. But just know, just know if you get triggered or feel stuck, that, that's shadow work you need to be working on. That spirit saying, hey, there you go. That spirit giving you the red flag that that's the area you need to concentrate and heal on. Don't try to take the whole. It's like one singular event. Definitely from your childhood. For some of you, what made you to keep choosing the same narcissistic, passionate energy, right? Yes, the sex is good. Yes, everything is good and passionate. But this person is a five of swords. They have no compassion except for themselves. And even then, they don't even love themselves because they're a fucking narcissist. Mm. Okay, Sagittarius, now we're just repeating ourselves. I love that for you guys, though. Yeah, you definitely got someone from the past wanting to come in a message. I feel like it's going to be a gift and a message. I say go right through it. You got Archangel Michael, so some of you are dealing with a situation and you don't quite know what to do. Call upon your angels. You got to know what to do. I don't think you're going to really pay it much mind. But just be mindful that this person could be wanting to come back in. Because they they haven't done the shadow work. And it's eating the hell out of them. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They feel stuck. Nothing is working. The five of cups here with the five of swords. Everyone's caught on to their shit. So no one finds their shit cute anymore. So they're stuck. And they're probably lonely. And they're going to go back to... Their favorite sort of uh, person. Don't let this person in. Doesn't mean you can't give forgiveness, but if you get stuck or triggered, you need there's some work you need to do before you can even move forward. And whoever the hell you're dealing with definitely has some fucking shadow work they need to do. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. But I, I want you to focus on this because this is like some beautiful breakthrough energy. So definitely stay happy, stay positive, get out there, get by water, uh, take a walk, be in the sun, go be happy. Breakthrough energy right there. That's breakthrough energy. Ooh, peace, love, and light, Sagittarius. Peace, love, and light.